Welcome to Berlin. It's the fifth Eurovision weekend, fifth Eurovision Song Contest weekend that the Berlin fans are setting up at Pfefferberg. And now we have the big pleasure to speak to one of the artists that are competing, not competing anymore, we're not at the Eurovision Song Contest, but they are, she used to compete at the national final of Germany, and this is Laura Pinsky. Hello Laura, nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, thanks for having me. Now, Laura, so what is the feeling so far you have from this uh, Eurovision uh, family meeting here in Berlin? It is amazing, it's uh, such a pleasure for me to meet all the Eurovision fans and to get like, a look behind it all and uh, like, to get to know all the people, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. You took part in the national final this yes. year and we know that uh, um, uh, Jamie Lee Krivitz won this, mm -hmm. uh, but what was your feeling uh, to be on that Eurovision stage in, in Germany? It was a dream to come true, to be honest, it was like a little girl standing on the stage for this huge audience, it was like, it's unbelievable mm -hmm. until today, to be honest. Well, another unbelievable thing is, of course, the man behind you in mm -hmm. this uh, na uh, national final yeah. is no other than Mr. Eurovision, Ralf Siegel. Mm -hmm. How did, did that come up, this collaboration? Um, I was on the German version of uh, Britain's Got Talent in 2012 mm -hmm. and um, I got there until the final so I took like the fifth place mm -hmm. I think yeah and um, after that Ralf Siegel uh, wrote me an email and said uh, I want to meet you I want to work with you mm -hmm. and he always had the thought with the uh, uh, ESC with the Eurovision and uh, yeah ha have so you, we did that. <laughs> ha have you heard from him before actually because uh, you, you're very young so that, that's why yeah. uh, and we know Ralf Siegel has been there for absolutely mm -hmm. ages starting writing songs not only Eurovision songs yeah. but we grew up with Ralf Siegel music mm -hmm. uh, and about 2000 songs is, is credited for so yeah. it's amazing to have him uh, so how, how did you find out about him? Um, I have to admit, when I got the email, it was like, who is that? I have to admit that I didn't know him, <laughs> but um, I think somehow it was also good because um, I had the chance to get to know like, like a new person. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't get the, uh, like I don't know other um, other opinions about him or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it was very neutral, and uh, he's such a good person, and I'm so glad that I met him that I got the chance. Excellent. Do you plan to work more together with him? I hope so. Mm -hmm. I hope so. so. So far, there's no plans yet to, to continue um, on that collaboration that I you started with. I saw off. him like three weeks ago, and uh, we thought about it, and we're still thinking about it. Like, how can we go further? What can we do next? And mm -hmm. uh, but I think we just need the idea, like to um, yeah, to uh, get further or mm -hmm. like to, no, to, what to you develop next. it yeah, exactly yeah, exactly yeah. Uh, the song that was in the running for you this year can you tell us the name of it and what yeah. is the song about it was uh, under the sun we are one and it's basically about um, yeah all human beings being mm -hmm. one okay uh, so yeah c come together that was also yeah, the slogan yeah, of your vision yeah. this year I think uh, it come fit. together be together so yes. that was nice so, um, what has happened with the song afterwards you have been able to sell it on on the music market as well did, did some some revenue come in for for you being part of the <laughs> national final yeah I mean it is on iTunes and on Amazon and stuff so it is definitely online and mm -hmm. uh, people can buy it so Let's go back to your to your very beginning of music. Mm -hmm. How did you find out you wanted to become a musician? Your way, your career path, that yeah. when it started to now. I don't know. I was <laughs> always singing. I always wanted to be a singer and mm -hmm. to do that and uh, to be on stage, to meet people, to sing. It's just my life. Okay, and and uh, somebody must be your your idol. Yeah, I have a few. Like my biggest is probably Beyonce. Um, but I'm also very in love with Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, so they are like my idols. Oh, f fantastic stuff. So, um, and uh, you're very young, so you're, you're still going to school. How, how old are you? I know we shouldn't ask ladies, but... Yeah, uh, no uh, problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that old, I can, I can answer it, no problem. Um, I'm 19. 19, so wow, I'm, yeah, wow. I did my A-levels last year, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I'm not uh, like at school anymore, but at university, and I'm studying law. Law? Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow, what triggered you to do that? Law is, is probably it's the complete opposite um, of, of music. Yeah, it is, but I have to admit that after school I didn't know what to do. I was like, yeah, I'm ready with school, what am, what am I supposed to mm -hmm. do now? And I knew that I wanted to stay at my hometown, which is Dusseldorf. Okay. And, um, so I just uh, sent out my, um, like my, 
I don't know how to say it, like my Bewerbungen. Uh, uh, applications. Yeah, Job my applications. applications. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I got a law. So yeah, yeah. I thought I, I can. You I go can, for that. Yeah. yeah. I go for that. What, what, what I would can you try it? What would you like to specialize yourself on in law? What, what would be, be the subject? I don't know yet. So it's I still know. pretty open. Yeah. How many years have, have you got to study that? Um, five years to get like to the first exam, and mm -hmm. the second is like two. Okay. So but, seven. But music will be still part of your of your life, no? Definitely. Yeah, you definitely, will continue yes. uh, doing some some more music. Yes. Uh, so so what's the future plan on a musical career? What's the future plan? I'm I'm definitely going to be singing, mm -hmm. and um, I hope that I can do that in front of people. That would be mm -hmm. like my dream. Yes. Well, you tried to get the ticket to the Eurovision Song mm -hmm. Contest in Stockholm, uh, and uh, what are your Eurovision memories? So, have you, you, you wanted to go to Eurovision? So, what yeah. do you remember or your first memories of Eurovision in the past? Um, I think that my family and I always have been watching like the Eurovision Song Contest, mm -hmm. but my first like very deep memories are um, Lena's. Uh, so uh, satellite, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. satellite, and uh, later on taken by a stranger mm -hmm. in the Eurovision Song Contest in Düsseldorf in 2011, yeah. and yeah, that's uh, that are probably like my um, my favorite ESC moments. Excellent. So far. This year, Stockholm was the venue, uh, was the host city for Eurovision mm -hmm. in 2016. What did you th think of the show? How it was done? I loved it. It was so. It's getting better from year to year. It's like with this. Uh, they did like a runway at the beginning with mm -hmm. all the artists and it, yeah. the show just improved so much in the last mm -hmm. years. Like with the technique and everything, it was amazing. I loved it, really. Did you have a favorite? Um, yeah, my favorites were Sweden and Australia. The vibe was sorry. And, and yeah, of course, Dami yeah. Im, yeah, from, from Australia. <laughs> yeah. Well, we wish you all the best of luck for, for your so law future as well thank as for you. the musical future. And thanks for taking the thank time to you. chat with us.